Artest looking, gets it to Bryant. Bryant dribbling, has to put it up with the buzzer. Banks it in! <laughs> he banks in the three! And the Lakers win the game! Okay, um, <clears throat> welcome back to the podcast, guys. Um, today is a tribute episode to the one and only Kobe Bryant. Here, are my guests, uh, Reese and Vito. What's up? What's, good? What's going on, everybody? Uh, I'll leave their links and everything down in the description box below so everyone can uh, check out their profiles and pages and whatnot. So, yeah, um, it's been about roughly a month, well, just over a month. Just over, yeah. And uh, I think it's time to, like, just narrow and Except the fact that uh, yeah, Kobe's gone, but um, legacy, lifestyle, everything about him won't be forgotten at all. So um, we're just gonna narrow things down from greatest moments to interviews, documentaries, and uh, lifestyle outside of basketball. So yeah, then we want to start. I think that first of all, um, my condolences go to not only Kobe's family but all the families that lost someone on that flight. Or that helicopter ride. Yeah, absolutely. Um, since then, it's been a hard thing to adjust. I feel like all of us took it. I think we were all were kind of we were all online when it happened. When we found out, and it was funny enough, it was actually Reese here who actually dropped the news. Unfortunately, to I wish it wasn't me. But um, um, I think it took everyone a minute to adjust because we we saw Kobe was going to be getting at least to like age seventy seven. Was yeah, going yeah. to be chilling and having grandkids. And I think it's just a thing we dead. we all just expected. Like I think everybody you know does not even think everybody dies. You mm. know yeah, we all have a certain amount. We have a time period on this earth, whatever. But you know you have them people in life that you just think will never go. Mm-hmm. Kobe was one of them people for me. You know mm-hmm. because. Um, Literally, man. Like I, I idolized him to a whole, to a whole different standpoint. I, even, even by the way he carried himself with swag, man. The way he walked, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. like you know what I mean. Like, I even consider shaving bald because of the guy, man. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean. So yeah, yeah. It's, it really yeah. did hit home for me, big time, man. I think, um, obviously hearing like Gigi, yeah, his daughter as well. I think because when remember when I found out and I let everybody know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we only heard Kobe. Yeah, it was and then rumors thing. started circulating. Yeah, it it, it started off. Who was it? Yeah. In, who were the room? I remember um, Shaq was in a bit of the rumor rumor mill as well. Mm. There was also Rick Fox. Mm. He was in the rumor mill that he was on that flight as well. Yeah. Um, and then Gigi. So I think we all knew it was going to be one of them. Because it, was, it all started when I got it. Because of course, um, being from the states, I kind of get all my news, so I get it in real time. Um, and I think we heard that there were that they were saying that Vanessa was not on the helicopter. So that was the only thing that was confirmed. Now they were saying that all of these kids were on there and they went from all of these kids to one of these kids. Mm. And we heard that Rick Fox was on there and there was circulation about Shaq being yeah, there. Yeah, Shaq that was, might yeah. have been on there. Very mi- it was very yeah. minor that it was one. Very but, minor, um, but it was the two big ones were Rick Fox and, 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 and yeah, yeah, so It um, wasn't confirmed mm. which daughter was, was on yeah. there. But yeah. then after a while, then they confirmed it and they said that he was he was actually on his way to a basketball game for G. So it was kind of a thing where I think for us losing Kobe was one thing to take note of, mm. but then losing Gigi, uh, Gigi, knowing especially as she was basically his legacy in terms of in the basketball. Not to say that the rest of the kid would not have anything to do with it, but yeah. in terms of in the basketball community, like she was the the legacy to that. It was kind of a, it hit us even hard there, like even yeah. even, even harder. Yeah, yeah. that's so hard there. Plus the other passengers, I just looked at it as like, well, it's a family. Like it was, it's basically just a family outing. Like Kobe's there, his daughter's there, mm-hmm. plus her friends are there. Then mm-hmm. obviously she's there. Obviously he's there with the other parents and stuff. Yeah, like that. so it's yeah. just like yeah, like it's my. It, it was just a hard, crazy thing to take in. Like one of the most things I probably wouldn't. This is for, for me. Um, for me, this is like the saddest moment in all sports for me. Yeah. I'm not even going to say yeah. basketball alone. Yeah. Like obviously in basketball, you know, we have the Len Bias. We have, you know, yeah. we have, we've had quite a few athletes that have passed. Basketball, that tragedy, yeah. But that one, I don't, I don't want to measure up anybody's life to another's. You know yeah. what I mean? But that one there for me, personally, consider what Kobe meant to me. Like in my opinion, this, I'm about to get controversial on this right now. But um, my favorite player of all time is Allen Iverson. Mm. Always has been. Mm. But for me, the greatest of all time. I know we talk about Jordan. We call it. We talk about the Kareem's and everybody else. Yeah, yeah. But for me, Kobe mm. is the greatest player of 
all the time. And I will say that with my chest. Anybody can out me. I agree. Get to my socials if you want. We can debate about it. But really, like Kobe for me, was the greatest of all time. I feel like, like Kobe, I feel like Kobe, as much as we, we, we love Jordan and all that, I feel like a, lot of, a large amount of us, we were just here at the end mm. of, Jordan's, of Jordan's like career. Mm. Or we were just in the middle. Now, for the people who were near the end, we really, that was when we first got to see Kobe kind of come in. Yeah. And we really got to see Kobe as a member. He was the youngest, the yeah, youngest, was the youngest, player, yeah, the youngest yeah. player to ever, ever, be, yeah. to ever be in the NBA. Yeah. So to see him come in and to know that he actually played that's, against that's Jordan. It, it was LeBron. Was it's it LeBron? Or was it? No, they both came out of high school. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want to go by months, yeah, months on how old they were, yeah, fair, yeah, enough, fair enough. But, yeah. yeah, but they both came so young, and they both have. And that's it. It was like he set a trend. He did, and yeah. the mumba meant the mumba mentality literally ran with it. Um, so, I feel like it didn't just hit. It was it was shot all over the ball. Like we had football players who were yeah, football players. Yeah, 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 was it Neymar? Yeah, was it Neymar. Neymar was it, yeah, football, yeah. American football players, baseball. Yeah, so, everybody's the thing is, it's just like. It's crazy to think that okay, what well, someone in the sports world has died, but then the impact that he had with everyone else. Yeah, because before. usually when someone in a particular sport passes away, it's usually in the circle of that sport. Like yeah, everybody hears usually, about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, That's like, what I'm saying. It was everybody. Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody you was didn't even stuff. need to be a basketball fan to feel this. Like, you, you, know you didn't even need so. to. You didn't even need to be. As long as you heard the name or you yeah. knew what you did, like it's pretty obvious. It was, you know it was what I'm pretty saying? obvious. But then of course, with the news. And this is where I believe that there was a lot of problems that came with the news being dropped. Yeah. Because of course, um, TMZ were the first people to basically like drop it. Yeah. And they dropped it and it hadn't even fully been confirmed with the family. So Vanessa had no clue before TMZ dropped it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of controversy around whether it was true, whether it was not. And then when it was confirmed, then it was a thing of TMZ had no right to release it without the family being notified first, there was other other talks about one of his other daughters that she had been taken to hospital over, over it and there was yeah. there was a lot of drama that came around. You see, my, my thing with TMZ, like not even just, but they see all of the news sources, this is, but TMZ seemed to be the worst about like delivering news when it at a wrong time because- Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If we had, if they, if, if they was a proper news service, they would have just let it happen. Mm. The next day would have said he died that day, but obviously mm -hmm. it would have been on the news. There's been, been so much right. There's been so you know much what I'm saying? Thrown But it's not. But the thing TMZ, is, so because much. of TMZ, unfortunately, everyone, every other news sources that are doing the right things are giving giving the family time and everything. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But yeah. One thing, yeah. Yeah. One thing yeah. that I realized was that most of the storylines that were actually circulating around that was from TMZ. Mm. TMZ were the first people to say that his daughter, like his daughters, all of his daughters were on there. They said Rick Fox was fucking on. And they, said, yeah. they, said, they did say that at first. Yeah, they, they said, said that. As well. that and the whole thing was, it was a thing of where, if I don't know if everyone is listening, but if you ever remember Denzel, Denzel Washington was asked a question in terms mm. about the media, and what he said was that the media literally, mm. they don't care about whether it's the truth or not. They care about being first. Yeah, getting it out it's, there. Yeah, yeah. They, be, yeah. they want to be the first person. Ever. It doesn't matter about. Unfortunately, that's it something the TMZ are very good at. It doesn't yeah. matter yeah. about if it's true, yeah. if it's false, or whatever. And the fact is, is that remember the family of Rick Foss probably would have not even known, and they yeah. have been placed Rick, in a situation. You, I'm not sure, um, Chris. You may have seen this. Did you see that interview with um, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley was there, Dwayne Wade was there. Yeah. They were all lined up. Mm. Rick Fox was there as well. They were mm. all lined up, and um, Rick Fox said he was literally in bed. Yeah, and he got a phone call because I think his wife was on the day trip or something. He got yeah. a phone call from his wife crying, mm -hmm. saying, "Thank God you picked up the phone." All this, that, and the third. So, the fact that TMZ are leaking it that early without any confirmation is it's it's crazy. It's, it's, crazy. it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. crazy. And, and this isn't the first time. It's, it's not. It's time. not the first time. But the one thing is, is that won't be the last. It, it's not. It won't be the last. But it also we have to remember comes with the territory. Mm. As much the moment that you make a name for yourself to a point where yeah. a large population of people know you mm. there's always going to be people that are going to be out there yeah. trying to exploit a particular story yeah and trying to take it out like we've we've had cases ever since that kobe has died there's been there's been talks about going back into his cases of his outsider stuff which we'll get into yeah. later on but then it's a thing of where now the media and the way that is going and the way that we're going to we're going to get to a point now where it's going to be a thing of where we're going to be hearing names 
and we're going to literally be having many heart attacks and then we find out that no they're completely fine mm. Mm. and then other people who have actually passed who who, who may have not even been known of getting brought into it mm. and it's just a thing of where now it's and I believe that the media need to start taking more responsibility for that. Yeah. And I believe that it's going into a thing of where we're not going to be able to shut down TMZ. Unfortunately, no, no. we're not going to be able to. But placing restrictions to where there's maybe a yeah, time yeah. code yeah. into which yeah. then before they can release it could yeah. also help it's with just, that. I, I hate to say it, but it's just like they on TMZ, there probably are like people that work that really just want to get the right news out at the right time. But unfortunately... The management behind everything is just saying, no, we need to be first. We yeah, need to be yeah. whether it's right or wrong, it's just out there. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. You know. Agreed. But yeah, let's just get into the um greatest moments. Yeah. Um So any greatest moments, you know? Let me I think the could, do we could, first wait, one. should we go over greatest moments or personal favourite moments that can be considered like Yeah, that can be considered, yeah, personal uh, favourite um, moments. Oh god. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about something that probably built Kobe to like you know the player that he turned out to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if you saw the game. It, it was in his rookie season. Yeah. And he shot. I think it was like five or six air balls in a row. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, it, was, it, was it the Utah Jazz? I think it was. Must be. Yeah. But um, yeah. And the fact that you know he had that mentality, like he went out there, took those shots, kept on shooting, and he, mm. his mentality was who gives a F if I miss, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, he was not afraid of those big moments, whether he failed or not. Yeah. You know, more time he was successful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he, that for me was definitely like one of the main definitely, things for me. Definitely. And like, it may not be for a lot of people because you know, we airball, but I'm just yeah, saying yeah, he yeah, built a lot course, of character course, in him, you know course, what I mean? Yeah. Um, that one, uh, what else was there? I'm going to say when he dropped 55 points against Michael Jordan, I think it was in 2000, was it, was it 2001? Oh, I think, yeah, he, he dropped 55 on Michael Jordan. And that was like um, considered the passing the torch yeah. kind of game for Kobe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was against Definitely. the Washington Wizards and he dropped 55 on Jordan. That, uh, and also, there was a game against the Suns. I think this was 09 or maybe 10. I can't, 2010, I can't remember. Um, I've, Kobe was just going off. It was in the playoffs. And... This is a personal favourite for me because yeah. he literally shot a fall away. It was over um, Leandro Barbosa and it was another player I can't remember. Toughest shot you've ever seen in your life. I'll probably run it by you guys in a mm. second. And literally he made it. Yeah, yeah. And he literally yeah. just spanked Alvin Gentry. <laughs> on, literally on his backside. He spanked him on his yeah. backside and it was like, take that one. Sick. And then he just <laughs> ran back on defence. And it just spoke a lot about him, you know? Yeah, yeah. Really, like it, it, said, a lot for, it said a lot about him. Like the stuff that he... I felt like... Uh, one of his one of one of his greatest moments for me is probably um like that that final that final championship yeah that yeah. final championship moment and like. um, an honorable mention obviously his final game as well mm-hmm. that's a no brainer it's his yeah, final game as well right. his sign off yeah but but he, that that final that final championship yeah that that fifth one because yeah. after that I was just like I want to yeah. lay something on that as well but yeah I'll let you after know. that when I've seen that game seven against the soldier I was like yeah this mm. guy is cemented now yeah, yeah. everything like because after the whole thing with him and Shaq and everything yeah mm. everybody did was, you watch the interview at the end of that yeah yeah I watched and the interview they said um okay we understand what it means to the team yeah but what does it mean to you personally mm. and do you remember what he said he mm. said I've just got one more than Shaq and yeah. you can take that to the bank. Word. It just saw it that, that there Word. just spoke on his competitive nature saying. for me, you know what I mean? So. And the things with that as well, it's just like when he done that, like I remember, like my, I think me, my uncle just showed me the game, like we was watching because we had to watch the highlights, didn't it? Yeah, game, but Don't we watched you, yeah. the full, like, full coverage in it from the last minute to the end, very end of it, innit? yeah. But yeah, like when I saw that moment like, of him just holding up that trophy and everything, I was just like, yeah, this, yeah, he's done it, like yeah. he's really like the next everything like next yeah. to Michael Jordan everything like mm. you get me so that I will never forget it's just so unfortunate I wish I could name more than three but we'd right. be here yeah. all day you yeah. know true, what I mean true, so true, there's true, so true, many moments true. man that I've got off the top of my head but those are the ones that just stood out to me like I think his you know? his other moment would definitely be dropping like 81 points yeah yeah like, that's a given yeah. 81 yeah. points because yeah. oh it's boy just, he didn't let yeah, no one forget yeah. that yeah. the thing is it's just like from it wasn't even like he was just it, it was everywhere everywhere on the basketball court you took a strum shot dunk layup yeah, whatever like whatever yeah. he could do that's what it was he was out for blood that game I think you know what I'm yeah, saying I just, it was blood, crazy you know? 
And even like then, people probably thought like, "Wow, they're gonna win the championship again." But yeah. it was one of those ones. So mm. I was just like, "Yeah, that." Yeah, the rap, the rap they felt that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I felt it for them, man. Yeah, no, like, yeah, that, was, really that was the one time where Toronto was silent for a good long oh, time. Boy. There was no words that <laughs> yeah. came, out to, they came out of Toronto for a good minute. Yeah, you mm-hmm. could even put maple syrup on the waffles, boy. No, um, another one. I think the last one for me is just when he hit um, the game went over Dwayne Wade. That yeah, moment, yeah, that's another one. That's that another moment, one. That moment, yeah. just like, yeah. I was just like, man, this, yeah, that is yeah. crazy. Like, yeah. that is crazy. Oh, just there's so many game off. You know what? I think that's another one we should go over a bit later on. Um, game, game winners. Game winners, definitely. Because, definitely. yeah, that's, oh, man. I'll, I'll go with my top five for that. Yeah. That's, yeah, there's so many. Yeah. I'm not sure if you want to break down, like, some interviews mm. that, with your personal favourite, Chris. Mm. Interviews. Um, I don't know why, but I like that um, after he retired, I think it was, was it, um, was it Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I liked his interview because mm-hmm. it just it just showed me like what he was doing outside and like what he was which, doing which before. Year? Which year? Because um, I think one of, that's one of mine. Which year? I think it was... Was he still in the league at the time? No, I think this is when he retired. Yeah, okay. So it yeah, might have been, I've seen, I've seen it might have been 20, I think it might be 2016. There's one I'm going to show you guys literally yeah. live on the pod. You can link mm-hmm. it in yeah. the bottom if you want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That's yeah, that one. But yeah, it just showed him like it just showed him like what he was doing life after basketball, yeah. like how he was coping. I, I think he was at his happiest, man. Yeah, he seemed he was really happy. at his happiest he after he retired. Happy. He yeah. really was. He really was. Sure, there's a thing of where you can know when there's people who retire and they retire for reasons when it's mm. beyond their control. So there's a part there's their there's someone in their mind wants to go back onto the court. Yeah, of but course. They, but, they, but of course your body cannot cannot follow him. Yeah. But then he seemed like he was at a point where he mm. was like I'm good. Like, yeah, I'm actually yeah. cool. I just step he out. said it straight. He said it straight. I remember um, Skip Bayless. I was watching, you know, him and Shannon Sharp. You know what they're like. But mm-hmm. I was watching that, and he literally spoke to Shannon, and then Shannon Sharp was just like, "You just look so happy. You know what I mean? You look so happy now that you've retired. What is it like? Like, why are you so happy?" Sort mm-hmm. of thing. And because you know, a lot of NBA players when they retire yeah. and when they come away from basketball, they lose, about 60, you know, got, 60, 60% yeah, they, they lose themselves. 60 60 percent of yeah, they lose themselves. You know, they, themselves. You, obviously there's mm. the given, there's the Stefan Marbury's and things like that. Mm. But um, he literally said, like, I left it all out there. I left it all on the court. You know, and the most important thing for me is family time, and that, mm. that absolutely spoke mm. to him, like mm. to his character. You know, and he had, he, he was winning fucking Oscars, Oscars, Oscars yeah. you know. What I'm saying? That you know was what another I mean? great like, moment. That that there. Yeah. Just yeah. showed me. I was just like, wow! Like you wrote a poem, like just about basketball. Yeah, yeah, and got an Oscar for it, man. Like it's, it's crazy. You know what I'm it's crazy, it's man. Like, that just goes to show that Mamba mentality that he stressed to everybody. Bro. He carried it outside. Yeah. And of then basketball. when I heard of the memorial, he learned um, Beethoven's. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I was just so baffled. I was yeah. like, what? I never yeah. thought like. You know what I'm saying, but it was the love he had for Vanessa, which is why he just carried yeah. that on. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he learned it in seven days. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, let's put that like, let's put that out it's seven days like that is mm. that he, and the thing was, was like everything he done was for his family like mm. everything after he done was that day he spent all of his time with Gigi like, like, like that was mm. all he did yeah and he spent the rest yeah. of the family yeah. Yeah. like the whole reason why he even got onto because I don't know if you guys saw the interview when he explained the reason why oh why actually, he just started flying why he started yeah. flying yeah. because mm. he wanted to be able to spend more time and mm. he realised that he did not want to be left in traffic coming from training mm. to come home yeah, so he decided yeah. he wanted to, he said he needs to find a way for him to be able to get there in fast time and it's cool yeah. he can get up in the air land get where he needs to do go back hop on and get back within yeah. 30 to 45 minutes mm. and it was pretty nice so it was like it was pretty cool doing all that and you were thinking like a lot of people get helicopters just to just for the stunt yeah, but he yeah. Was no actually, but it, it was literally it was a valid, it was just for him, yeah. you know what yeah. i mean yeah. it, was, it, was a, it was a valid reason for him to buy it and take yeah. all that and just to hear like his relationship, how he had it with Vanessa, the way he was with Gigi, the fact that they spent all time seeing him courtside together, like mm, seeing yeah. like, him explaining her, to, explaining her to the game, like him, even um, when you saw about when uh, MJ came up um, during the memorial and literally explained it and explained how he asked him like, yo, I, your age, at uh, the age or when you, uh, the age of Gigi, like, what were you thinking about? and like how like he's always trying to find a way to be a better father yeah yeah and it's the one thing i think that hurt me the most is because i could not imagine what it's like to be in a position like that to where you have to literally keep yourself calm you're panicking mm. but you have a the young one that you that, have to there's calm. a lot there's a lot of comments about that because um a lot of comments you know 
the helicopter went down. Apparently, it just literally crashed into a mountain mm. unexpectedly, mm. you know. So, mm. I don't even think they really had time for that. Yeah, so for into all that hot, but obviously, when you see it going up in flames, you're obviously gonna, yeah, yeah. you know, cover your daughter or whatever. But it the fact that um, people saying, Oh, it was going down, it was holding her, and all this stuff, I don't think he really had time, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't think he did, I think it was just a snap click gone, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, that, yeah, it, it, it's big time, man. Yeah. Really. yeah, I think like his documentaries as well, like. Mm. What is what I think that's what helped me kind of like find find myself in the game of basketball. Yeah, right? yeah. Because it's just Probably like doing work was a, was my. It was one. weird. Like it, it was yeah. weird. I can't remember what documentary it was, but it was around um between oh six and oh nine. Was it? Yeah, I think it was Kobe doing work. Was it the one with Spike Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. Kobe yeah. doing work. And yeah. the way he like they showed him sitting in like with the whole team like yeah. at a half time yeah, yeah. and he's sitting there and he's just like studying his game and Phil Jackson's not saying a word to mm, him mm. he's crying out all his mistakes his wrongs the way he needs to pick where he needs to go yeah. and I'm just like how do you how can you see all of this you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. but then it's just the mindset he had like already he already knew like what he could do better where yeah. to do and whatnot Absolutely, you know what I'm saying yeah. also making his teammates but he even said straight Paul goes he without Paul goes so that those two years wouldn't have been nothing without no, him. Absolutely, I agree with that. It's so crazy. I agree with that. Yeah, I do agree with that. One hundred percent. One hundred percent, man. I do, I do. But um, since we're covering all of this, I want to take it back to interviews for a second. That really yeah. spoke on Kobe Bryant's competitive nature. Chris, I'm going to send you the link. Yeah. To this interview, it's yeah. literally a short one. Um, yeah. Just so you know, the people can see it. But I want you two to look at this. Hmm. Uh, of the league. Well, you're welcome to come hang out here. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I saw a clip today that I, f I feel like I have to show you because I I must I must know what your reaction to this. Okay. So the Lakers had uh, an eight game losing streak. Uh huh. They beat the Celtics uh -huh. overtime. Great. This is from after that game. This got interesting. Hey, Come back to the first hotel. You, hey, got you here. feel me? We back in the building. Y'all thought we was gone. My man Jay Lynn was doing his thing. Jay Hill doing his thing. Nigga, I didn't hit his free throw. You know how he do it. You know, Jay Lynn going to the basket. Like, ain't nothing to do it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my man, you got a nice suit on today, too, man. Appreciate that, Swag. You got that as well. Now, would that happen if you were there? Would there be a celebration? When <laughs> 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 I saw that, all I could think of was you. <laughs> hey, did you see the movie Whiplash? <laughs> That's a great segue. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, even little stuff no, like that, that man, yeah, like, yeah, it really that, just that goes to one, show man. like how competitive he really was, you know. Mm. And everybody's laughing and cracking jokes there. Mm. He's not finding it funny at all, no, you know well, what I mean? And yeah. he's making it known. It's not funny. No. You know? No. So um yeah man, he had the heart of a champion. Yeah. I think beyond that. Yeah. Mm. You know, right. so That's the thing as well, like when he when he retired, man. Never so much when he retired, but I think that one of the other two moments as well was like when he got his twenty four thousand points. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That and um, when he retired, I was just like, man, this is this is it. It's an end of an era, it's really. The end of an yeah, era. Yeah, yeah. Because not only that, he's retired. The year after, well, a couple of years after now, it was like Dwayne Wade's yeah, retired. Dwayne Wade, yeah, Dwayne Wade. Yeah, I retired. found that one too, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, when he Kevin Garnett retired. Vince Carter's basically retired the end of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This year, so we're, lo we're not even losing, we're just, everybody's just moving on now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so really, really. It's just mad, yeah. like, you know. that Our heroes are really, really, they're leaving before our, like, our very eyes, you mm. know what I mean? Mm. You know, but, yeah. Mm. It's mad. So, interviews, documentaries, um, I think, I don't know, like, outside of his, outside of basketball, in terms of like what he was in after like especially with like, I'm like with the said, coaching kids, with the coaching daughter, yeah, yeah. Well, I just wanted to know what he was doing on the business side more of like what was he opening up or I what think was he, he was doing really, or... he was really looking to propel women's basketball mm -hmm. that, that was his primary focus yeah. you know um, yeah. that was really one thing that he was really looking to do he wanted to make sure by the time his daughter made it mm -hmm. yeah. because I think he and she 
mm. knew that he was like she was going to. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He wanted to make sure she was going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, because yeah. like there's always been that controversy, you know, how the WNBA underpaid and all this other stuff. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to make sure like yeah. that was all but taken I, care of. I feel like it's a thing of where you're looking at like think of it as like a TV show. The more viewers and the more ratings that they get the more their the more their budget therefore increases mm. and i feel like it's a thing of where i don't think it i think it's a for where and like the national basketball station themselves need to they need to actually be able to find a way to actually propel it it's kind of mm. like you bring in it's like you've had a main series going on for about 12 13 14 15 seasons yeah and then you suddenly decide after 15 seasons of everyone getting used to the reg to the normal show hey let's bring out a spin-off yeah and you're just like if you brought this out in the third or fourth, mm. we could have rocked with it. Mm-hmm. Fifteen seasons, like fifteen seasons down, I don't know. And, and the thing is, as well, the women's basketball already is like in basically summer. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's not that kind of like long, like how NBA. Like if you had like fifteen games, mm. then they can make a bit more out of it. But mm. the way they're doing it now is just different. But yeah, yeah, like um, I think um, but when I watch the memorial. I think the one the, it's weird man the, the, I, I couldn't even say who got me more because everybody just said what they had to say about yeah Kobe. they did like, I, it, it was heartfelt it was funny it was sad but I'm gonna yeah I'm mad. gonna highlight I'm gonna highlight on that um, the two that got me the most well you know what no, I have to throw Vanessa as well mm. Vanessa Vanessa Bryan um, MJ did mm. MJ got me yeah it was qu- quite quite funny as well but MJ got me mm. and Shaquille O'Neal mm. the reason why I'm throwing Shaquille O'Neal in there mm. is because he was the only one out of everybody yeah. that spoke everybody mm. that brought up Kobe's parents nobody else did that and I think that's what some people tend to forget you know because they had um, Kobe's relationship with his parents were very it was a very volatile relationship sort of thing you know yeah, I mean? yeah. it was very volatile like I know his mum was trying to sell his memorabilia um, she, his parents didn't approve of him marrying Vanessa because yeah, of course, course, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. yeah there, there was that and the fact that that happened like I'm just really proud of Shaq for actually bringing up the fact that you know Kobe does have parents mm. you know and they shouldn't be forgotten and I think they were very much forgotten in that in that whole yeah. in that whole ceremony like that's one thing I yeah, I, I, kinda, I, kinda, yeah. I, feel, I feel like it's a hard thing um, and I get it on the two ways because of course like going into it, we're going to a personal thing. Like I said, my family was in a kind of a situation where my dad's family wasn't exactly happy with yeah. my dad, my dad's choice to get my mom. <clears throat> so I understand of what he can take with that. But then it's now, I feel like what is really going to watch and see is how they adapt to now. Mm. Not to say that Kobe, like Kobe's death is now where you're going to see them try to change up, mm. but mm. it's not just only the parents that lost it. Yeah. Next, like, like I said, for a large period of time, they were kind of they were in a volatile stage. They were they, they were basi- man, they, yeah, were basi- they were basically they were basically yeah, basically out still. of the circle. Yeah, mm-hmm. The reason now, why I'm highlighting that is because people they just forgot about yeah them. yeah they they, forgot, you know because yeah. of everything that he went through with his family yeah. and stuff. Yeah, but sometimes um, you can't even like hate or give you can't, yeah, yeah. It, yeah at the end of the day like. Yeah. Kobe even used to say like like when when his dad used to play in Italy, but yeah, Joe Jelly there, Bean Bryant, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Used to yeah. go there, watch his dad play in Italy, everything. He you know played what I'm eight years with the Sixers, I think, mm. he didn't he? And then he, he moved. Obviously, they moved over to Italy. Then he mm. played there. And yeah, man, that's one thing. Also, like without his dad, obviously it's a given. There's yeah, no Kobe yeah. Bryant, but mm. there's no Kobe Bryant with his career. Period. Mm. Yeah, yeah. His dad inspired him to pick up the basketball mm. in the first damn place. Mm. And you know, for them to just like brush them under the carpet the way they did it, then mm. I, I, I don't, I don't feel like it was a brush under the carpet. I feel like you said everyone came on there was honestly speaking from them. Mm. I feel like even then, the, the more in itself, not everyone has fully come to terms with it. Mm. I feel like Vanessa was trying to keep up a strong front, yeah, mm. and she was definitely trying to because of the kids, and I can see that she was trying as much as it is. You yeah. got to remember, she was setting up that she set up that whole event. She picked who could speak. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is why I do well believe they were just swept under the rug. Yeah, it, it, it probably, it probably, it like probably she should have given them the chance. She should have given them the chance to think, but I feel like it's, it's a, it's a hard situation. Like I said, we can only know from the outside. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Because at that point, I'm probably thinking now, what if they didn't want to speak? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, there is that. Yeah, there, there is that. that. Maybe they yeah. didn't. I get, I get where it's coming from because it's mad. Yeah, it's a mad, it's a mad situation. Um, like hearing everyone talk. 
And it's crazy because you hear everyone talking, you hear them talking from a personal standpoint, no matter if they were colleagues yeah. playing in the sport or his wife or anything else. And it was crazy when you hear it. And it's a part of where I feel like as much as we knew Kobe Bryant as the person who he was, yeah. I don't feel like we'll ever get to know what he was like when he was fully not when he wasn't there was no cameras around there was no yeah. there was no media oh, yeah, there was no good. nothing yeah, was, we will never get to know to, to hear from vanessa to hear what he was like when he was at home when he was just yeah. well she did oh, what she did you say you know she didn't yeah, yeah. 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 like a little nickname yeah, yeah. Like, cold cold uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i still can't get my head <laughs> over that i can't get my head over that over all nicknames but okay i feel you it's all right we feel you but it was it was a thing of where I feel like the memorial was a good send off. I think it was very good. It was, was a good it was, it was a good yeah. send off. We got to really hear from everything. We yeah. got we got we got a new meme for, for, for Michael Jordan to add yeah. to, yeah. to yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's one of the reasons yeah. why uh, Michael Jordan I highlighted the you know, one of my favourites to yeah. that mm. spoke because um, obviously Michael Jordan spoke about, you know, the mm. meme thing that mm. made it that kind of lifted the weight off of like a heavy situation, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. Also, you need to remember, Kobe looked up to that man. Yeah, he idolized that man. Mm. He did every he 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 was pretty much my MJ. If, if yeah. He was the closest yeah. thing to MJ, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. without being MJ yourself. Mm. But um, the fact that your idol mm. is standing up there speaking highly of you like that, mm. man, yeah. that speaks volumes, man. I For me, like, like that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Even, even Shedding like, tears. Yeah. 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 And that's, that's what I said. I, the only time I've seen Michael Jordan cry. It's three times. And yeah, that's obviously, obviously the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. This and when his dad obviously. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, so that was that, that, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, just, I feel like it was just a thing of where to hear him talk about and the way he talks to him like he talks to him like it was an irritating little brother like you just come you come yeah. to look and yeah, like yeah. it was like it's it was nice to hear. Because you would think, like, after, especially after that game with the 55 points, you would think yeah. it would be that kind of. If you, I, hear, I didn't say you, if I you watch, um, I'm not sure, there was a 98, it was in 98, and there was a game with the Bulls versus the Lakers, and obviously Kobe was just fresh in the league, you know, mm-hmm. for a Kobe, whatever. But um, there's a game, and Kobe is literally picking Jordan's bra- um, brains mm-hmm. about the turnaround fadeaway. And obviously, Jordan enlightened him, like, mm-hmm. how do you know where the defense is when they're behind you? Obviously, you build the defense with your legs or whatever. But yeah, he was. That's that, that was literally a big, a little brother moment mm-hmm. for me when I when I watched that. That even 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 that the fadeaway. Um, the fact that he said like he watched like a leopard. I think it was a leopard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tail. Iconic. Yeah. And yeah. he said he watched it, and it's always straight. Mm. He wanted his leg to be like that when he fades. So I'm just like, what? Mm, mm. Things like that. It's, it's just simple. He things. always he always analyzed it after like um, certain animals. Like it was when they faced the 76ers in 01, I think it was, mm. in the finals. And Alan Iverson was giving them headaches. Mm. And he studied shots mm. to try and, you, you know, literally, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just goes to show, man, yeah. like, it's crazy. Okay. Like. I think as well now as well, like when, the day before everything happened as well, what was mad is just that he was there at the game, LeBron got his, um, his 30, uh, was it 30, 36K? I think mm-hmm. it was, oh, what yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Obviously now, obviously like it's like it's it's like Kobe just passed the mantle to LeBron and said, "Hey, mm. just, just keep on doing it," and then mm. that sort of thing. So it's just like wow, like we're seeing as, as we watch, we're just seeing great people just pass it down, pass it down, pass it down. Mm. Like, mm. No hate, just pure competition. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. But it's, it's your love, man. Yeah, really, really love and respect. And I feel like there was that, but then I feel like a lot of people still. It's like even now, like he was always talking about, yo, it's, it's a sport. You're supposed to love this thing, mm-hmm. but it still always give me that that sense of hatred. I think there was, mm-hmm. there was, there were, there were so many conspiracies. There were things of, oh, how was it the day before? And then LeBron, like LeBron just yeah. made it. Oh yeah, yeah. The, 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 he, I'm not gonna lie, that was crazy. That, that was, was Kobe's last yeah, post Kobe on Instagram as well. well. <laughs> and he went on the whole thing. People went, people went crazy. It's silly, that. Man. The thing is, and. Yeah. Uh, it was just, it the was things just, with that as well, like it's just look like, like I get it. They're competing against each other. Like there's supposed to be some rivals and whatnot. But at the same time, it's like can you not appreciate what these two have done for the game? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying really, yeah. I was saying, I think, I think a lot of people even said on Twitter after this, 
can we really argue about who's the greatest of all time now? Can we not just appreciate? Can we just appreciate who's he and who's yeah. up next or who's doing whatever? Because yeah. the moment we start hating or whatever, this like they're gone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Gone. Basketball's a, uh, a minority at that point. Mm. Mm. Saying, you know? so, so, it's yeah, just, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying so, bro. The thing is, it's like. Every, every, I don't know what this year's done, but it's just weird. It's weird now. It's been a horrible year. It's just weird. And there's no, there's no, I sugar to it. Like, it is, it's been man. horrible so like, far. I feel like. like this year has been a year where a lot of people have come to have to come to terms with certain stuff first. Mm. Like we would have, like if you would, if you would have told us at the end of 2019 that we'll be dealing with what we're dealing with now, we probably would have mm. laughed in your face. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm not gonna lie. If you would have told me that Kobe was gonna pass away come 2020. Mm. Or no, let's 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 change that. If you were to give me a list of like one thousand people or a thousand celebrities, I would have put Kobe Bryant mm. down here at the bottom of the list. Yeah, you know what I mean. As I said, he, he just seemed like one of the people that were gonna live forever. True, that. You know? it um, yeah, it's just um, it's. I feel like now is a thing of where it's all about how we move on. As much I don't want to say the word moving on, cause I don't want it to seem like he's, like he's forgotten. Yeah, he's, yeah, no, I know, I, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. he's not, he's not forgotten. But I mean, like he want that. He would. He want, want that, man. And, he's always wasted, you know. And he's like, taking that. And even when you, even when he takes that, I think if you guys remember my Instagram post, I posted a video of which he posted for a fan's uh, father who was actually um, suffering from an illness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he basically was talking, and the way he was talking. It sounded like he was talking to us now, mm. so he was like, mm. "Just like yo, keep going, like keep pushing, mm. like remember my mentality. We still got this. Keep yeah, pushing." Yeah. Mm. And it's like now it's like we just have to remember everything that he's taught us. Mm. Remember everything that we've seen. Luckily, for, the luckily, thing. luckily, yeah. luckily, the internet lasts forever. So there's always thanks this, God for this people. To, like, thank yeah. God for the creators of YouTube. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> true, really, true, we're true, able, true, we're true. able to backtrack and, yeah. and watch back and everything. Yeah, yeah. watch games. And that's one thing we can never put in question is what, like, what would he have been like? What if? What if? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. saw everything. We saw, yeah. when, you know, when he was a little beanhead coming in yeah, to the league from high school. To to I feel like for me, it would have been nice to see what he. What have you accomplished what, after? What have we could accomplish? What he could accomplish he after. seemed more locked in. Like, now and you would think yeah. that's impossible, but he, he seemed more locked in in, in his second yeah. career yeah. Yeah, than his NBA career. career. Like, he seemed so passionate. Yeah, but the whole thing was that the first like, career was about him. Yeah, yeah. This is about the future of yeah. his kids. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I understand that like, uh, for anyone here who's listening who has I'm kids, Oscar, I don't man. know what it is. I don't know if it's that drive when you know that you're doing this for somebody else who literally is like the embodiment of you, yeah, like, you yeah. give, like you're doing everything for it. She looks exactly like him. It's true. Yeah. Like him. Well, that's the thing. Like Every, everybody, everybody was like, "Oh, you know, he should have a son." This and that. Yeah. And what did she say? Ah, she's like, "No, no, I got this. I got this." She's like, "Don't worry, he don't need no Kobe Jr. I got this." Word, word. And that's something that Shannon said. Um, Shannon Sharp, I think he went over. Um, like them two were DMing DMing each other, and he must have said, "Oh, I need a pair." Of those of those latest Kobe's, but in men's though, and obviously you're gonna to need to give it to a son when you have one. And he said that thanks, champ, but my princesses are tough enough. That there, man, it's been it, it, it speaks he, a lot. He was he was like as he said, he was a girl dad. Like he was yeah. he was a whole thing, yeah, and to see to see what was like yeah. push up. It's just now it's just um, like I feel like it's a thing of where we now have to push on and we have to use what he has told us the mentality yeah. that he's given to push into it yeah. and hell if, ain't nobody gonna forget Kobe yeah, no, ain't no, nobody no, no, ever no. gonna forget Kobe I think my dad always said to me like his was Jimi Hendrix like mm. that was his first celebrity death that really affected him but mm. he said to me that one day like someone, someone's gonna pop off like a celebrity's gonna pop off that you're really gonna feel and it's gonna bring you to tears mm. that was my that was my first ever and it's probably it, I'm not gonna lie man like yeah man like he was just such a big part of my childhood yeah you know yeah. like i just started reminiscing when i heard and then yeah, well, just brought me to tears but you know what? i've got another pinnacle question yeah chris mm. number eight kobe or number 24 kobe and why you see for me i would go with number 24. i understand yeah because yeah. like when number eight i was still kind of young yeah so yeah. i was thinking like oh yeah like 
I don't really understand it at the time. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Of course, yeah. Like when I got to 24 and I was in secondary school, I really got to understand the game of basketball. Like, yeah. I got to see like the different stages and steps and how like he was improving himself and what he was trying to do to win championships and mm. everything. So mm. I would have to say number four because yeah, it, it was just that the, the prime of him, the prime of him still seeing what he was doing at that moment to mm. what he was doing in his rookie season up until like the 2003 mm. I was just like is he going to keep this up yeah all the way throughout he has yeah he has you know what yeah. I'm saying absolutely. so absolutely and the thing yeah. is this is what I'm trying to say that like let's go back to some of these like matchups with the teams he was at so it was like like you had you had you had teams like the Pistons the the Dallas Mavericks the, the Suns like all these teams that were tough against Kobe yeah, like yeah. that were against him that he had to fight just so he could win to get to the next round yeah, just so he could win yeah. something like mm. just proves how tough he was absolutely yeah yeah, you know? yeah yeah I feel like for all time him and Shaq would be probably the dynamic two of all time yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, a, that's a given that's yeah. a given yeah. I feel like it's just a, it's just a thing well so it's weird because being a Laker fan and looking at like guys who are past like Walt Chamberlain, Elgin Baylor, like, like, don't do it's it's sad to say, but Jerry West has outlived everyone. Yeah, yeah, man, it's yeah, he mad. has, he has, He's yeah, outlived yeah, yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just thinking like, so, like, we couldn't even let Jerry West pass, knowing that Kobe's passed before. It's just weird to me. Yeah, it's man, really I know, weird. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, uh, there isn't there it, like we have to come to terms. There isn't a time. Like we, there's there's quotes that people say that we're living on borrowed time. There's mm. quotes where people say that we we have the chance to live forever, but we just have to. It's about decisions. Yeah. I feel like at this point, we can't, like you said, we can't put someone's value or someone's life above someone else. It's mm. just a thing of, it's happening is what happens, and we just have to mm. take this upon our shoulders and and walk with it. Um, I just my prayers just go to his family to his daughters um then the next couple of years is going to be hard i don't know this them losing a father is one thing them losing a sister is another it's just so sad it's that man like it, it's just so strange like and i understand why people think these kind of deaths are calculated sometimes yeah. i do yeah. understand mm-hmm. because think about it man kobe loved all of his daughters evenly i'm sure mm-hmm. but Gigi was always by his side all the mm-hmm. time all the time even when she was a baby she was always there yeah. post game interviews with him mm-hmm. always you know and it's just yeah it, it's it just don't sit right man for me yeah it's just crazy man really it is it, it, it probably would never it um yeah, it's crazy. i feel like i think what really brought me to tears was when i heard that gg went because yeah because yeah, yeah. for me especially when it goes down to it i was like losing a father is one thing yeah losing a sister is something else and i can't it, I couldn't I couldn't even think about Vanessa as, as a mother what mm. she was feeling like mm. um, but then another thing I do have to say was that I feel like the other families were kind of overlooked yeah and yeah. not to say not, not to say it, it's like the Paul Walker crash yeah you yeah. know like well, R.I.P. to Paul Walker but like the, R.I.P. to the driver yeah that, that everyone forgot about because he wasn't famous yeah it's, it's, just stuck, it's, it's like that, it's, like that. It's, just, it's a thing of where it, yeah. it's, it's suckish and because we actually have those there was a family where they left they left a the daughter a yeah. daughter's the only survivor is only mm. survivor is only the person surviving now yeah mm. um that's what sarah to belly i think yeah yeah. Is, yeah and it's just it's um it's just it's it's crazy yeah and that's what i'm saying even when rob Poliska, his best friend even he said that the last act he did was like yeah to right, sort her out with the base yeah. that's like, what i'm yeah. saying with, with, the, with the base with international i was just like man like what like How where do you, you have the time yeah how do you have time to do so many good deeds like what are you doing like mm. it's crazy man but i think we've covered enough more, more, more or less. I, mean, more I think that you know, not everything. Not everything never, but never, never I, 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 think, I don't think we're ever. I've got so much stuff yeah. that I could spit out there of like you know, greatest accolades and stuff like that, and yeah. greatest years and this, that, and the third, like greatest playoff runs that you had. But definitely. we will be here. Like it will be here. Definitely, you know definitely, what I mean? but, definitely. Yeah, but like, we already know that he's going to be placed. The only thing I would have wished was that he was alive to therefore see himself be placed in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, mm, that yeah. would have been a moment that I feel like him, his family, everyone would, should have been around to be able to see. Mm. But 
Unfortunately, we got to deal with the cars that we're given. We got we got to deal yeah. with the cars that we're given. Unfortunately, yeah. not every yeah. not every single car that we're going to be dealt is a good one. Yeah. Um, but let's shoot my prayers go out to him, to his family, to I hope that they all found peace. Um, that he, the family is also affected by it. I hope that everyone who is listening, everyone who was a fan, maybe from basketball, or it was not, you guys take note of what he has taught us um, what you've seen and it just helps you be better that's all Absolutely. that that's all that he asked yeah. you guys to do um, yeah so um, that will be it for the podcast today guys uh, thank you for listening and uh, just share in the comment section down below like what was your favourite moment or time um, with Co- or seeing Kobe play whether that's his lifestyle playing basketball anything would uh, be much appreciated this has been this has been absolutely beautiful, you guys. I can't believe it's come to an end. Um, you guys will always be in my heart, and uh, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. No words can describe how I feel about you guys. And uh, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys, and uh, I love you guys. And uh, my family, to my family, my wife Vanessa. Our daughters, Natalia and Gianna, you know, thank you guys for all your sacrifice. You know, for all the hours I spent in the gym working and training. And Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have. I, I, I can't, there's no way that I can thank you enough for that. So, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out.